All right, so we got Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix. Everything new explained. This is from Top 5 Gaming. Let's watch the video, man. Fortnite Let's go. Chapter 2 Remix. Right into it. Let's go. And this spy season featuring rappers has 30 days before it's gone. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, real quick, real quick. I know. Listen, I don't pause like that. So, uh, bro, they show Juice World, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Ice Spice. Um, um, and, bro, I think. Oh, did they show anybody else? Um. It, it seems pretty cool, but let's see if some more about some more information. Here's everything you need to know, and we'll drop it at the agency, or should I say the dog pound? Uh oh. From that double G, you could already tell. Doggy Ryle. The home of Snoop Dogg who walks around with a brand new mythic drum gun, now sculpted oh. in the shape of a hound. It's pretty lethal, but the best part happens when you fight Snoop. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, 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 he tanking. Not only will he drop the gun, he'll become your friend for the rest of the game. Oh, that's you nice. Enemies. Hey, that's Unk. Now because he's on your side, his guard dogs will also stop being aggressive. You'll even drop a key card, letting you down to the basement to unlock the vaults. They're back, and Snoops is full of memorabilia. Oh, loot. snap. Or even if you don't go hey, here, Unk got that money. I'm going around the map. But I recommend looking out for a more entertaining item, the double G bomb. As you can tell, it works just like a classic boogie bomb. The with rookie a ROM. Twist. Drop it like it's hot. Of okay, course, that's nice. I like, I like that. Pound, you'll see new low riders all over the parking lot. These are brand new to Fortnite Remix, and yes, they actually work like a low rider. And they're blue too. We know what that means. <laughs> and they're Even blue too. You know what those mean? Hydraulics letting you jump super high. It is so sick. Oh damn. Okay. 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 That's pretty nice. Now, not every POI has been swapped out for a rapper. Most of the island is exactly how we left it in chapter two. You can go visit the rig as we speak, and it's been preserved beautifully. You'll probably remember T and Tina defending this place, but now it's controlled by our secret outfit for the season, Dynamo T and Tina. Who was that? Later, and you'll get her mythic boom bow just like chapter bro, two. Bro, I haven't, I haven't played Fortnite in so way, long. So I gotta play like Fortnite, bro. Left. The same I haven't installed. I just haven't played it. Now in the loop pool, something fans have been wanting for years at this point. After constantly getting pranked by the striker AR, we don't have to worry anymore because the OG scar is back and it's hit. Wait, is it actually? This has been gone all year. Wait, the scar's back? Hard, really? Real life? Using this season as an experiment to see if they should bring it back for good. Okay, now real quick, before I don't listen, bro. I didn't even know the actual OG scar is back, bro. Like I said, Fortnite has literally been on my game. Just updating, <laughs> like bro, like no, 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 genuinely, bro, it's legit. Just been updating. I haven't touched Fortnite in so long. It's cr I've been playing like Madden, Call of Duty, uh, what other games I've been playing. Uh, that's really about it, cause I've been like doing videos and stuff like that. I can't really like you know play like a lot of like other games or whatever, bro. But like Fortnite literally has just been updating, uh, on my console. And, and to be honest with you, bro, I gotta get back into Fortnite. Um, yeah, let's get right Would it be a chapter right two it. remix without the return of another classic weapon? Oh, OG bomb. once again, the pump rock run by items like the shark tooth, and we can actually pick up the real deal now. Dang, the they really bring back a, two, uh, these OG all weapons. All about the yacht. Obviously, this has shown up time and time again, even in the Greek season, but it's finally back to its former glory. Dang. Now, sadly, it's not owned by Midas anymore, even though his iconic statue is still there. It has been taken over by the weirdest mashup skin of all time, Meow Dis. Who? Who is this? They're like that, like a French cat. Some time getting used to. Some people love this, and others think it's ridiculous. On the bright side, he drops the classic Piapiao rifle from the original season and a key card for you to loot up. The vault okay. is totally worth it, and he'll even join you as a hired NPC once you beat him. What about the henchmen all over the map? Some of them are updated versions of the Ghost and Shadow Guards from 2020. But the okay. best part is when you take them out, they'll offer you an option we have all been missing. Shakedowns are back. And it doesn't Wait, for real? NPCs. Any player you eliminate can now be interrogated for info, revealing the location of their teammates. Bro, okay, I'm sorry to pause it again, bro. But like, bro, bro, oh my goodness gracious. So I do remember, oh, snap. So, like, obviously, whenever you down somebody, you get to, like, shake them down, see where the other players are. It's, oh, wow. That's absolutely crazy. I did not know. What? They really bringing back a lot of things. I kind of like this, bro. Pretty sweet. 
One of my favorite parts about this map coming back has wow. to be the return of Steamy Stacks. It is okay. exactly how we remembered it. And yes, the Simpsons Donut is still here. They've added a new zip line up to the chimneys, so it's easier to get up there and rotate, just making this POI easier to land at and then escape. Right next to it, we also have Slurpee Swamp, which always used to be the most helpful POI in the map. Yeah. You can still use this to heal up by simply standing in the water. Wow. So far, you've got a pretty good glimpse at this season's battle pass. Snoop Dogg isn't actually included as he's headlining the music pass instead and his main outfit is in the item shop the actual remix pass is entirely full of chapter 2 skins no crossovers at all of course there's Meowdus and Dynamo T and Tina but that's not all there's a new version of chaos agent known as chaos director she's the tier 1 skin that everyone gets when they unlock the pass then one ball and ten ball are here wait isn't juice the world coming to the Fortnite as well I thought I saw but something like that nothing compared to one of the coolest mashups undercover sky she has been mixed with Guff to create a pretty cool outfit. So while you're repping these new skins, look out for some classic items around the map because yes, the burst AR is back. Definitely will be some mixed reception on this one, but fans are more excited to hear that the suppressed version is back too. Not to mention the tack shoddy is available. Sure, it is gonna be hard to Yo, pick this really up over something like a purple pump, but in the right situation, these have always been amazing guns. Bro, they're really so bringing back like back. These classic POIs definitely will. Like I said, almost the entire map is how we left it, which means you can visit craggy cliffs, misty meadows, and holly hedges. A lot of people used to pick I remember these holly, as a I used to land on holly hedges all the time check them out again when you land here you might notice that an iconic feature is back upgrade benches been a long time i never used the upgrade benches. on the map that, I, and if I'm you remember the last time they were here they took i never used those that was in chapter 2 season 8 when they were first added you get upgrade items with materials and that's the version that is finally back in fortnite they're even more useful if you could upgrade rocket launchers the og wow. rpgs are here and are pretty hard to find there's a chance really? you can get them in chests or vending machines. I'll get to that part later. But keeping with RPGs, they're just as powerful as you remember. So, uh, yeah, if you're playing a zero build, get ready. They will be toxic. Uh -oh. At least you'll be able to defend yourself with the bandage bazookas. Would it be chapter two without these guys? And if you need to fully heal in one go, the chug jug got you covered. It has oh, been a while since the this was in the game. And now they have fully uh -oh. updated to fit with other the chug items. jug. Yes, you can move around while drinking a chug jug. This has been the most requested update for this item since it first appeared. Oh, so they didn't really bring it back to the OG return, things, bro. The Skies booths are officially back. We definitely realize how much we missed them in the Marvel season as Fortnite refused to add them for Doom. But now they're back to normal. And yeah, disguising as a henchman lets you open up all kinds of chests now. You should know you could also just hold the down NPC too if you don't want to commit to the disguise. If you find yourself missing the first OG oh, the season, grappler. don't worry. There's a small taste of chapter one on the map with classic POIs like Pleasant Park, Retail Row, and Salty Springs still here. Enjoy them while you can because some people might blow them to smithereens. Uh oh. So thanks to the amount of explosives in Chapter 2 right now, not only are there stink bombs, we also have remote explosives, which stink are like bombs. everywhere. I don't remember also those. Return of clingers. Little pro tip here escape from them by using motor boats. It's oh, been a very snap. long time since we last had boats in game. Wait, but are for the no sharks back? Season, it's probably getting flooded oh, in a couple no. weeks. This oh, seems no. like a pretty important addition. Oh, no, no. As for snipers, the okay. heavy is back, which has a lot of fans. The heavy out, sniper? Of course, it's probably the most popular sniper in Fortnite history. It is, it is. But if it somehow didn't get you excited, there is more to love, like the return of the semi-auto sniper, even the scoped AR. If you're in zero build, you can hide from their sights by throwing down a porta fort. These have been extended into regular build mode just for nostalgia. And if you're up against one of these, don't worry because you'll easily be able to retake the high ground thanks to the return of the grab. Yes, sir. It's back in the loot pool and you can find it from floor loot or chest. Hey man, like bro, you, you uh, <laughs> Whenever you're at like the, uh, <laughs> whenever like you're uh getting like your um like whenever that you you're at like the uh reboot van, and like you're getting your teammate back, and all you hear is the grappler getting closer and closer, man, that was a nightmare, bro. But most commonly in places like vaults, unlike its original version, that, in that was a straight two, nightmare. Fall damage immunity, meaning you don't have to worry about heights. It's also been buffed back up to 20 charges once again, so you can really get around like the old days. Not the only mobility item making a comeback, because launch uh -oh, pads have also the made a grand return after a year. 
In build mode, you'll find the epic ones laying around ready for you to take and place wherever you want. But you'll also come across the blue throwable version. These are introduced for the zero build mode back in chapter three, and they're back once again. The weirdest part, they're even in standard BR. Even the cozy campfire is back, so you can throw one down in Let's a box go. or a squad to heal up anytime, just like the old days. Okay. If you pick up the victory royale, you'll bag this season's exclusive victory umbrella. This time around, you'll get the remix Ooh, umbrella, which is okay. a final record perfect for the theme. You'll also be able to earn a ranked version of it in cups throughout the season. Oh, no. I, hey, I'm, I'll never play Fortnite ranked. Rank never. Reach. One never. Of the biggest changes That's what the sweats are. Never. Old feature you probably forgot about. Vending machines. For years, we've been used to buying items. Vending beds, machines. Even chatting with them all in exchange for gold bars. But now, they're back to play no materials. Just like OG, they now have just three items again, with the lowest going for wood and the highest for metal. Maybe you'll find the return of the dual pistols inside. It's the I never used the dual pistols from the dual Uzis last season. I Plus, never used the dual pistols at all. Weeks last year, and now they're back to go full send in the spies remix. You can even combine them with another spy classic, the creeping cardboard. We got these with solid snake back in January, and now you can blend in as a box once again before you guys use that box stuff. No, I never used that either. You can also burst their giant crash. Oh, These things snap. have finally returned after years of being stuck with the junior version ever since Bro. it got introduced. But in order to keep Chapter Two as authentic, they're really bringing back a lot of this. I mean, it's called like back. like Fortnite it's Rewind or whatever. The item you'll be able to find because impulse grenades are also back, but not the shockwave. So watch out for fall damage. There's uh. even regular grenades too, but for some reason, Epic kept the nerf from Chapter Four, making these only do 40 damage instead of 100. They're almost as pointless as dropping at the grotto right now because you'll only be met with a pile of rocks. Rocks. Every entrance is blocked off until Mom's Eminem spaghetti. makes his debut in week two with uh -oh. his mom's spaghetti restaurant and uh -oh. a mini gun. Until then, you'll be able to play BR or even reload, and it's going to be easier. I got to get back on Fortnite, bro. I got to get back on Fortnite immediately. The UI has been completely overhauled, removing names and ratings until you hover over the tile. The best part, the buy epic row is now easy to find, and different game modes are even sorted into simple collection buttons. One of the modes you'll want to check out is Reload, which has just received its biggest update yet. Now, there's an entirely new map, Oasis, bringing more classic POIs like Paradise Palms and Shifty Shafts into a remixed desert island. It's wow. the permanent map for the first 10 days, but after that, Reload will shuffle, swapping the map every 30 minutes. If your friends have heard about the new season and are hopping on for the first time in a while, it's the perfect chance to get your Reboot Rally quest done. Completing them this season will grant you a free wrap, glider, and pickaxe, and all you gotta do is just play with them. With so many new cosmetics dropping, your locker uh -oh. is probably feeling pretty stacked, which is why Epic just dropped the best update to it since the changes in Chapter 5. Oh, you can now choose snap. to save your entire loadout as a preset, or still swap it. We got loadouts now. That's not all. They've also doubled everyone's allowance from 100 slots to 200, so you can finally use more of your skins with ease. W update or L? Let me know how nah, you guys feel that's about the W. remix in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to help us Bro, reach 7 million. But shout out to Top 5 Gaming, man. Uh, this is a W update. I'll tell you all the time, bro. No other game can do it like Fortnite. Fortnite has the... Uh, bro. Whenever it comes to uh, updates, live events, whatever, bro. Fortnite is literally at the top of the food chain, bro. You know, I, listen, I've seen a lot of, you know, um, other games and, you know, try to recreate what they're doing. They can't do it. It's their thing. Um, it, it's, it's their lane. Uh, and so I'm not surprised that, like, you know, that other games fail to do, uh, you know, what Fortnite's doing. As in, you know, weekly updates. As in, you know, uh, you know communicating, you know, what they're... And I'm not saying that, like, no other... Um, I'm not saying that, that no other like, you know, uh, franchise or that no other um, gaming company or whatever does this. But uh, I mean, if I'm being honest with you, bro, like uh, Epic Games, bro, they do a really good job uh, with these updates and these live events, bro, because it, it generates so much traffic and buzz. Um, you know, every, not, obviously, like whenever it comes down to like the live events and, and stuff like that, that's like a, obviously that's not like an every week thing, but like. Whenever there's a live event, bro, everybody knows there's a live event. Especially whenever it's like a music, like a musical, like festival or whatever. Oh, man, bro. The Fortnite festivals and stuff like that go absolutely crazy. Especially if there's somebody that we all know, like Eminem. Uh, or, or it's like a Snoop Dogg festival. Bro, I would love to have uh, a Juice World festival. I, I don't think we had that yet. Uh, and I did hear about him. Like, I think they show like a glimpse of like Juice World from like, from like a back shot or whatever. Um, and so we actually might get Juice World. Well, not might. We're probably going to get Juice World uh, in this game, which is going to be absolutely crazy to have Juice World. Bro, 
If we get like a Juice World concert, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. A Juice World concert. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. If we get a Juice World like concert slash festival, bro. I'm uh, bro. I'm returning to Fortnite immediately, bro. I'm returning to Fortnite immediately, bro. I'm gonna have to load up the game, bro, and, and, and hop on, bro, and look at the festival for myself because, uh, you know, to, just to be honest, for me, the last festival that I enjoyed, that I enjoyed, can I not, bro? I can't say enjoyed. What the heck? Uh, the last festival that I enjoyed was um was the uh, Travis Scott festival, and that was like what I think that was in what 2020 I think so that was like what a few years ago, uh no it's like four years ago three four years ago, bro that Travis Scott festival when app bro that was the best festival slash event that Fortnite has ever done in my opinion, that event bro I'm gonna be honest with you the buzz that that had like bro, bro oh my goodness bro. You had to be there. No, no, no. You legit, you legit had to be there for the. F oh my goodness gracious! Like I, I, like I'm getting so many memories just like flashing back at me right now, bro. Like you had to be. Like I think everybody was there. Like you, obviously you had like the Fortnite YouTubers, live streamers, whatever. Um, but like, bro, like, just like regular average players and stuff like that, bro. Uh, just enjoying like the like the Travis Scott, you know, festival slash concert or whatever. Uh, it, it's absolutely ridiculous, man. And so like I, I bro. If Juice World was to have like a festival slash concert, Fortnite festival, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. That could definitely uh, be up there with the Travis Scott one. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be better, but like, I mean, bro, it's Juice World, bro. Juice World, like, bro, he's, I love his music. Um, I haven't listened to him in a while, though. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, but I do love his music. I do know some songs, obviously. So yeah, his his festival would be absolutely crazy, man. Comment down below, man. What do y'all think about this, uh, bro? Big updates, bro. This Fortnite rewind. What is this Fortnite uh, Chapter Two remake stuff, uh, bro? I'm gonna keep an eye honest with you, bro. When that bro Fortnite will deliver, and it's all for free. That's the thing that kills me, bro. This is all for free because Fortnite they can legit just. I mean, well, they will never do this, but like Fortnite they could just be like, oh, okay, well, you know what? Our game is like, but yo, is that a fly, yo? Yo, is that a fly, yo? Do you want a box? Do you? But yeah, bro, Fortnite could just be like, yo, bro, our game is thirty one dollars, but they all know that like. Obviously, like whenever you like you have like this game, like this free battle royale game. First of all, the game came out free, um, and we have the, like this free battle royale, battle royale game, bro. And uh, obviously, bro, you know you got millions of kids, bro, millions of kids, millions of you know uh, teenagers, adults, whatever, who don't really got like the money like that. And I'm not calling nobody broke or nothing, but um, you know who really don't got the money like that, you know, because like you know their kids or their teenagers or whatever so you know of course they don't really got the money like that uh and then you have adults you know adults they gotta pay bills and stuff so of course you know they're not gonna you know spend like 60 dollars on a video game well they are but like they're not gonna risk to play a game they never probably played before and i'm speaking in the sense of 2017 uh so at 2017 you know when this game first came out for like the for like the uh for the public or whatever and we're all playing it whatever um obviously like you know the game was free and stuff like that it was a new game um, and, and bro, that was like the, you know, bro, Epic Games, I really ran with it since then, bro. Um, uh, so yeah, you know, shout out to Epic Games for, you know, and I keep saying this, I'm gonna keep glazing. I, I know I'm glazing right now, but I'm gonna keep glazing, bro. Shout out to Epic Games, uh, for continuing, uh, to shine out, you know, for the next seven years. Uh, because at the end of the day, bro, a lot of, uh, bro, a lot of gaming franchises cannot do that. Um, a lot of games can't do that. You know, obviously Rockstar can do that. And I'm pretty sure, you know, bro, uh, um, who else? Uh, uh, um, God of War, um, uh, 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 um, Final Fantasy, what else? And I, like, I'm, I'm saying games that, that have been repeatedly good over and over again. Like, they, like these games, like, just, just, they just been dropping straight bangers. Fortnite, bro, year after year after year after year after year, update after update, festival after festival, bro, uh, has been killing it. I don't care what you say. And I know I sound like a, like a Fortnite, you know, advertisement right now, but, I just gotta give props to where props is due because a lot of companies can't do that. Even though a lot of companies they want to walk around, you know, with their head high, with their chin up, you know, thinking that they're better than somebody, and thinking that they get, you know, they got all the money and they can just, you know, no. Because at the end of the day, you know, it, like bro, that it matters. You know, you paying attention to your community that matters. And listen, I know it sounds like I'm sneak dissing uh, a gaming franchise right now. Uh, maybe I am. Okay, you know, maybe maybe you know because your game sells. Maybe, you know, maybe because, like, your game sells every single year. Maybe them things is getting lower every single year. Maybe you should, like, you know, look at Fortnite or, like, look at, you know, Rockstar and get some inspiration from them, you know. But I'm not going to say the game company that I'm roasting. I'm not going to say that. Nah, I ain't going to say that. 
I don't. Just in case, you know, somebody from this game company that I that I want to say might look at this and be like, yo, who is he talking to? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to say it. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That's the thing. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The same people, you know, who come out with the same game every single year, but they wonder why people don't want to, you know, play their game. And so they're bringing back, you know, oh, we're bringing this back from, from 2015. You know, like they're trying to, they're trying to like, you know, bait people, with, you know, uh, with their nostalgia. Yeah. Like, you know, but you know, who am I, man? You know, what, like, what, listen, what do I know? You know, I'm just an average gamer. You know, I'm just a guy that, you know, I know some things, but also I don't know too much, you know, who am I to, like, what am I to know? You know, I'm just nobody. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I'll see you guys next time out.